We are doing a chemical test for disaccharides. I have sucrose solution in both test tubes. If I tested these both now, I would get a negative result. But in one test tube, I'm going to add some one molar hydrochloric acid. On its own, this is not enough to break the glycosidic bonds that hold the monosaccharides together in the disaccharide. However, when I add acid and then I heat it in a boiling water bath, that does provide enough energy to break the glycosidic bonds. After five minutes in a boiling water bath, I can remove my sucrose and hydrochloric acid solution. However, now I need to neutralize it. I need to neutralize it because otherwise, if it was acidic, the acid left in there may actually interact with the Benedict's reagent. And that would be adding another variable to my experiment. So I added one molar hydrochloric acid. So if I add an equal amount, one molar of sodium hydroxide, that should be enough to neutralize my solution. Before adding the Benedict solution to both test tubes, you should check that the solution is neutral by using universal indicator paper or a pH probe. So now one of these sucrose solutions has been hydrolyzed with heated acid and the other one remains sucrose solution. They've had the same volume of Benedict reagent added and we're now going to heat it in a boiling water bath for five minutes. A couple of minutes into the experiment and you can see already that we're starting to have a colour change. Remember this is qualitative Benedict's reagent. It tells you whether the solution contains reducing sugars or not. However in actual fact this test is semi-quantitative because we can tell by the degree of colour change how much reducing sugar the solution contains. And this video is operating at normal speed and so you can see just how quickly that colour change takes place. It continues to change from blue to a brick red colour within about three minutes. So this is the test for disaccharides. The test tube on the left shows us that testing it with Benedict's reagent gives a negative result. Why? Because Benedict's reagent can only be used with reducing sugars. We used sucrose this is a non-reducing sugar. However, the test tube on the the boiling tube on the right confirms we do have a disaccharide because it's been heated with acid which has broken the glycosidic bond down resulting in two monosaccharides. Tested again with Benedict's reagent, we now have a positive result. So to test for a disaccharide, we have to prove first of all that we get a negative test then we have to break it down into monosaccharides, test again with Benedict's reagent, and get a positive test.